Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about how to use stages inside of Flow. And this has been around for a while. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you how this is built step by step. And uh, let's look at a quick example first. So, and a use case. Uh, for example, you have multiple screens um, gathering some information from your end users or your customers. And you want to guide them just like how you have opportunity path or lead path. Um, in, in like where they are in the process. Um, so that always helps you knowing, let's say if there were five stages here, uh, it makes me feel better as a user knowing that, all right, so there are only two more stages left. So it's a really good visual indicator. Um, it's also helpful if you have a community, for example, and you are gathering some information from the, uh, from the customers or like a shopping site. So there are a lot of use cases for this and it's a really nice, cool feature that I wanted to share. Um, in my case, it's a really simple example. Uh, what I'm gonna do is basically just enter my information here and hit next. So if you can see how now this is green and this is blue, so that means I'm in the review stage. In my case, um, it's the same thing. Basically, I'm just reconfirming, all right, is this really your phone number? So I'm just gonna say, all right, let's remove that or whatever. Um, and then the next stage is basically just complete and I have a success message. So nothing changed in terms of screen, but it's just an additional component that I added um, at stages. Okay, so now let's look at how this was built. Um, for the sake of time and uh, keeping the video short, I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, what it looks like in my flows. I should have that open here. Okay, so basically, um, and since I'm in summer 20, you can see the new start screen here. Um, so same steps, create new flow, choose screen type of flow. And once you do that, um, main things are to actually create resource, new resource called, if, so I, it's the last one here, resource type stage. And that's where you're gonna say the label of in progress or update review whatever your progress whatever your stage name is you're going to put that here that's the label and the api name and the order and the order is what defines where you need to be uh, which basically ordering it and active by default needs to be checked so just quickly showing you what i have uh, i have complete review and update so update is my order number one that's the label and same api name and that's pretty much it for for the stages so you need to create the stages first once you create the stage the second thing is to actually assign those stages to different um, different um, screens so what I mean by that is and all I'm doing is just using an assignment I'm just going to show you how I do that just bring an assignment and just say assign update stage and then here um, You're just going to say flow um, and the current stage equals you're going to bring up that stage. So let's say um, the first stage is update, right? So that's really all you need to do. This, this makes sure th what this does is makes that screen green or blue depending on which stage you are in. So if I show you this one, flow that current stage equals update. And that's my first stage. And then after that, I'm doing a screen element, which is, you should be very familiar with this already. And this is what adding that stage. So if you scroll down, it will appear under custom um, lightning component. So it's really a lightning component that Salesforce gives you out of the box. So once you drag and drop that here, um, you can say, okay, the current stage is whatever the active stage I'm on. Um, so flow.current stage. And what are all the stages is flow that active stages. So what active stages is co collection of all the stages. So that's why we had to check that active checkbox. Um, if you deactivate one of them, you'll not see all the three stages on the banner. And then the current stage is what we, we just defined basically before this screen element. And uh, this is also a lightning component. This is standard lightning component, name, phone, email. All I'm doing is really um, giving the API name to the name. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it used to be way more complicated. You had to define all the variables manually, but Salesforce has made it really easy now that you can just 
populate it and just give the API name and everything will be handled automatically. So you don't need to create separate variables. You will be able to refer to this in the next screen as I will walk you through. And then after the first screen is done, you need to again add another assignment. Now the current stage is actually review because we want to define that here so that when you go back to um, when you go to the next screen which is the update um, which is the review stage here you are saying flow stage um, basically the same thing the reason I'm I have these API names is because I just cloned the existing ones so by default it will just give you that but you can always change it uh, make sure you do change it so that it's a, easier to understand um, and then here you're doing the same thing again, current stage, flow dot current stage. By virtue of defining that current stage in the previous assignment, you will now have that current stage. And then same thing, active stages remains the same. That does not change. And here, the reason you were able to see my name in the second screen was because I am defining, oops, sorry, I'm defining the first name here. So it's really easy to do. All you need to do is start typing and it appears all the screen component that was my first one called name dot first name so um, that's why I said you don't need to create any variables by yourself and then you just refer it and obviously you don't have to do it this way um, your use case might be completely different so whatever your use case is whatever your fields are here you you pop up pop that up here um, and then again we do the same thing again assignment this time we are assigning the complete stage. So we are saying flow.current stage is complete. Um, and then finally, uh, what I am doing is creating lead by that information. So I'm saying first name, taking the screen uh, input from the second screen, uh, name dot first names, last name, email, and phone dot value. This is very standard and uh, this is a really awesome feature. Uh, and flow has been adding more and more capabilities uh, in terms of variable assignment. So all you need to do is just use that phone dot value from that screen. So if you type phone, it will tell you screen components and then you need to be picking the value here. And then I just put a company here because that's a required field on lead. Um, and then I'm just adding same thing again, current stage, active stages, um, and then success um, and I'm then using a redirect to lead component that I have in uh, another video. And that's pretty much it. Uh, at least for my use case, it was pretty straightforward and simple. So if I, if I hit next, it will take me to that lead. And um, so obviously you can, there could be multiple use cases for this. Um, let me know what's your use case and how do you plan on using this? Um, and also if you have any questions that I can help with. Thank you so much for watching.